Hello and uh, welcome and a happy new year to everyone. In this video, we will continue making the grand strategy map that was based on real world data. Um, so by the end of uh, this video, <clears throat> we will all have a result that looks something like this. Uh, so it's a graphical map with country borders and that's also, and the countries are interactive as you can see. The start point uh, of this uh, tutorial will be where we left off in the previous episode. Um, <clears throat> so as you see here, we have like the polygons created that uh, forms our world map. Um, it is interactable, but it's all white and uh, gray. Um, so if you haven't uh, done this part, the link for the first part will be in the description. So go ahead and uh, complete that one. So we all have the same starting point. Now uh, we are going to go ahead and grab ourselves some assets to um, make this uh, map a bit more beautiful to get some makeup uh, on the pig. Um, so what we will do is that we will go to uh, NASA Visible Earth, which is a site that uh, from NASA where they actually have uh, uploaded uh, satellite and um, uh, other kinds of pictures of the Earth. The reason that we are using this is that because is that these images have the same map projection as the map data that you have used. So that way we know that uh, it's all the same or not the same scale, but you know, if scaled right, it will overlap uh, perfectly or close to perfect anyways. Um, as you can see, there are many different pictures here. So it is uh, pictures with um, uh, topography and bathymetry. So you can like see the ocean floor uh, or you can just have more flat um, and it's also taken on different different months so we have uh, october september august and so on so if you in your game have different months or periods or something like that you can have you can change out these pictures and uh, yeah, you can see the gradual change of the climate reflected on the map itself and for our case now we are just going to grab one so i'm choosing august you know the summer months with a little bit less of snow is uh, preferable to me and so when you click it you also have different size variations in our case i'm going to take the smallest one which is 5000 times two seven hundred pixels so let's just uh, grab that one and save image so, um, yeah, I'm just going to save it now directly in our project. And by doing so, if I go back to Godot, you see that it, would, that it did immediately import the image. So the next step is just now that we are in the main scene, just take the image that we just brought and just drag it in, basically. <clears throat> so let's go to the transform and just reset it so it's centered. Um, as we can see now, you know, this image file is way too big for, uh, for our game. So yeah, you can barely see it a bit in the background here. So what we need to do first is to scale down this sprite so it will match our polygons. Um, luckily, uh, I have already done some testing, so I know that if we go to 0 0.067, we get something that is uh, close. Now, uh, to make sure that we can actually see uh, our map image, we need to make the polygons not visible. 
So let's go into the, our main script. Uh, and under the create part function, where we actually you know, create all the different polygons, um, we are going to make it not visible. So uh, just uh, polygon dot modulate, which is the property where you can adjust a color or visibility of um, most things actually in Godot. So set the color. Uh, zero, 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 zero. So it's basically white, and the last one is where we set the visibility. So, so with that done, if you now try to play our game, you can see that see that we don't see our polygons anymore. <clears throat> so good. The second thing we want to do here in our main function is to extend the uh, create part function to also create uh, a border around each of our regions. Uh, so for this, we will use the uh, line uh, node. So let's create it. Uh, I'll just call it, we just call it line, it's fine. Uh, then we'll use the line 2D. Uh, so here we just we can just reuse a lot of the code that we already have because the line will have the same points as the polygon. Um, so just call it line. And also for the for the line 2D, it's not called the property is not called polygon, it's called points. Um, the name will, of course, be the same. Uh, you can also modulate it to set the color of our border. Um, so set it to set the visibility to 0.5, so that you know it's not too hard. I mean, it's zero, zero, zero like this. It has, it's black, but it has some transparency, not to make it you know too hard on the map. And then we also get some of the texture behind showing through. Uh, in addition, we need some additional properties. We need to set the width of the borders. So set that also to half a pixel. We have the close property, which we will set to true. Otherwise, you will not get a closed circuit, you just get a line. So the first and the last point will not be connected, which you want. And most importantly, we need to add this line to the node to our scene. Like so. so if you now start to play, here we see that we have borders around every province. Just if I try to click it, that doesn't uh, really work because you know our select function is not working with our current setup. So the next, so now we will go back and fix that one next. To make our uh, select region uh, function to work again, we need to go to our province scene and the attached script on this input event. So if you remember from last episode, this is the function that reacts when we um, click a province, that it changed the color of it, uh, modulate it to red. <clears throat> so what we need to do is to um, to make sure that it doesn't modulate the whole node, but only like, because that also uh, includes not only the polygons, but also the line and everything else, which we 
just made invisible at the start. So we need to make sure that it only uh, changed the color of the polygon itself. Um, yeah. First, let's put in a check that checks, you know, if uh, <clears throat> that is actually the area two D because now we have like other things in in our scene as well, like the, um, the sprite, the image. I need to loop through what's underneath. Subnode. Get children like so. And now we, we only want to target the polygons and not the lines. So just state that it is polygon. Polygon 2D. Right, so um, then keep that one, but change how to subnode. Um, Good. So now we make all of that made all of the polygons uh, invisible. Um, but now we need also to make make it red, the one that we actually click. So at this level, yeah. Um, so let's, let's yeah. Let's reuse the variable. Um, children so again just let's make sure that it's a polygon 2d and not not anything else that we are coloring red modulate equals color um, zero red and we also not make it that hard to make it kind of a little bit transparent so it kind of blends better with the the map itself all right let's see how this looks now we see it's working so now we can click the regions we have the graphical map and uh, we have our borders so I think this will be it for uh, this episode. Um, in the next installment, I will tackle uh, the subject of having country names and possible some other country information as well on the regions. Um, and also do some change to the cam camera so we can zoom and uh, move around and stuff like that. So uh, if you want to see that, then like and subscribe and uh, I will see you next time.